Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. Give me Revelation chapter 20 and verse 11. One day we will stand before Jesus. Please listen to me. A day will come you will wake up in the morning and find out there is no koinonia again. There is no election again, Nigeria. A day will come you will get up in the morning and you will find out, dear civil servant, there is no going for work again. A day will come you will get up in the morning and find out the enemy you seek to die, both you and him, the scene has changed. A day will come you will get up and you will find out the people who massage your ego and lie to you, they are no longer there. And I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away. Is that in your Bible? And there was found no place for them. Verse 12. We're reading to 15. And I saw the dead, small and great. This is the thing about death that is scary. Small and great. That means the concept of small and great is a relative statement only within the confines of earth with respect to death does not know small does not know great stand before God notice the name of any there's no preachers name mentioned there there's no businessman's name mentioned there there's no title and politician apostle professor excellency no small and great you are one of the two stand before god and the bible says the books were opened and another book was opened which was the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works this is the bible the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the death which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works 14 and death and hell itself were cast into the lake of fire he said this is the second death the last verse and whosoever apostle prophet businessman giant in ministry small man whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire full stop can I tell you all of the wars we have in our world today right now we're in a time of politics and it's good to you know all kinds of people fighting president chairman national assembly thank God for that students hoping that strike will resume so that they will go to school preachers hoping that more members will come everybody hoping one day when the real referee the referee is not social media uh -uh. the referee is not the preacher when the real referee rings that bell whether you are prepared or not the match must stop and he will gather all of us and we will stand that day will be a day of pleasant surprises please hear me you must live with eternity in view no matter how long you live the highest I've seen in my life is about 136 but no matter how long you live either he will come to meet you or you will go to meet him but you must depart this realm yes we are returning back to earth but not this version of earth this will be folded like a curtain when I stand before God he's not going to say apostle how are you no <laughs> no when you stand before him, you will not say, Koinonia member, how are you? Small and great. All our titles will mean nothing. That is the day we will know that he is king of kings and lord of lords. Please let me remind us. I'm both old and new school. Permit me to be old school now. Jesus is coming back soon. I repeat it. Jesus is coming back soon. Koinonia Global, Body of Christ, Planet Earth.
the Lord Jesus, the monarch of the universe, is returning. He will return. I assure you, is one of the seven pillars of the Christian faith. He's returning. And this life will be rolled and folded like a curtain. What does that mean? If all your relevance and everything that you have is just connected to money and titles and anointing and ministry and politics and any other thing, you may be disappointed when he comes. Can I tell you the truth? I made up my mind that nothing around me and nothing outside me is what my attachment to <clears throat> thank God for money but it will come and go away thank God for titles they will come and go away we're wrapping up listen very carefully this birthday broadcast hear me koinonia global and creation and all who are listening it is not the celebration of a celebrity it is not a celebration of some great man without Christ without Jesus this man you see there is very little to me as a person I will tell you this if there is anything in my life today that is worth celebrating including the gift of time that was given to me it is because he's alive and it's because he has shown mercy Thank God for the cakes you have made. Thank God for the gifts. Thank God for the wonderful things. And I truly, I don't downplay it. Humbled. I don't know how many times tears rolled out of my eyes as I rolled on the floor before the Lord. Thanking him for the gift of life. But I am reminding you again. Bad days is not the celebration that you were born. It's the celebration of what you are doing with the life that you have been given you only truly qualify to celebrate your birthday if you are living it for Jesus and living it for purpose not if you are living I stand before you today thanking you for your love and everything you have done for bearing our limitations praying and upholding us I thank my precious leaders I want to thank the fathers of faith in this nation who have loved me so personally and invested and continue to invest in my life. I do not take your fatherhood and love for granted. I thank God for all of the pillars in my life. The men of God, senior colleagues, contemporary. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men. Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life for you? When it's all been said and done, all my treasures will mean nothing. Only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test of time. Lord, your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness and find treasure jewels in married clay turning sinners into saints. And I will always sing your praise here on earth and ever after for you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done you're my life when life is gone i've sung this song for many years and it never gets old can i tell you this Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, Let your mind be. Holy God's
fire.